Hi, I'm Matthew with F Class Community Channel, and welcome to the vlog. Uh, I'm here today at the range, uh, going over uh, some load development, uh, and also uh, going over the review of the EC tuner and how it shoots with the 185 Juggernauts. So it's it's going to be interesting. I have a lot of targets set up, and uh, to show you there, lots of dots. So. It should be a very good representation at least to see how well that tuner works and also uh, to see how well the 200 hybrids and the 195 uh, TMK shoots as well. So I uh, will uh, complete the shoot and hopefully get a little bit of footage for you and if there's any questions that you guys have or uh, any advice that you guys have please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, and thank you for joining me and uh, uh, tuning in. Hey, F class community. Well, this, well, I'm back from the range and uh, had some time to process and go through some of the results of the EC tuner uh, testing that I was doing. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick overview, and what I'll, I will do is uh, post some photos of the results to the Facebook page uh, and I'll just quickly scan this here for you guys. Basically the EC tuner has uh, divisions, uh, indication marks uh, for tw uh, 25 indication marks. Um, it's kind of the same as your seating uh, 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 um, bullet seeders uh, that you have on your micrometer. So uh, basically, the instruction is to go by two, uh, zero, two, four, six, eight, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and working your way through the different graduations. Uh, I loaded uh, a few rounds, uh, not enough to uh, uh, enough to go through the tuner uh, one entire turn. However. Due to some rookie mistakes uh, in working the tuner, and also uh, some what I believe was a shooting error, uh, I had to redo some shots uh, for one of the divisions, and uh, and that was division number eight, and that was the redo. Um, and as you can tell, maybe my shots wasn't as bad as I thought. The orientation of those shots mimic each other in terms of the way they walked up as well. So my shooting wasn't the problem. Uh, it was just my question and use being such a, 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 a so new to this tuner thing that I believe I made a mistake when I was shooting uh, at uh, the uh, number eight uh, mark on the EC tuner. However, what it proves to me is that the tuner settings are repeatable and that it, it does go through a, de a definite progression in terms of the way the bullets flatten out and then uh, uh, gets vertical and the, and the way the group rotates and clocks. So it means that the, the tuner is working the uh, progression of my shots could be a little bit better because what I, I did was I shot these groups at 300 yards and that and the wind may have played into uh, the results a, a little bit however there is there are groups in terms of the settings uh, used on the EC tuner that are promising uh, we have, uh, for example, uh, uh, setting 10 uh, at, at the, the 10th graduation on, on the EC tuner. Uh, some groups are pretty much horizontal. Um, uh, uh, number 2, setting number 2, and setting 0 has very little vertical. So I know the tuner is working because it, it's clocking uh, like... Uh, in terms of the, the groups going vertical, horizontal, and clocking around 
as if it's moving moving or um, moving around and 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 turning so definitely the tuner has an effect on the barrel harmonics that is for sure however the results may be um, less than stellar because of the methodology I used and the distance that I used to test the, the vertical at. However, it is very promising. Uh, setting zero, I, I, I might, as, might as well not touch it. Uh, looks pretty good in terms of vertical. Um, uh, setting 10, uh, and again, setting two and, and maybe six there. So it goes, it, it sort of goes flat gets a little bit of vertical, flattens out again. That's three shots, there, there's two shots there. Vertical, flattens out again, and vertical. And it kind of clocks to to the left, uh, left hand side of the target. And the mistake I made was I forgot to turn it one time and shot this twice. That is, Probably most likely me or uh, during a, a windy gust, uh, which I uh, didn't take into account. I was just holding center uh, of the group. So um, working with, working through it, uh, I think that it does have potential. Um, I don't know how many groups I need to shoot in order to know what is the best accuracy node. And the other thing was, this is a, a known load to me, uh, a known load that I seeded out a little bit further uh, that uh, was accurate in, in this rifle. So it, I did no load testing at all for this rifle uh, with the, the tuner installed. I did all the testing prior to the tuner being installed. So that may affect some of the results as well. So just a quick update um, on this, uh, the EC tuner. Uh, if you have any questions or advice, again, please post it in the comment section below. Uh, maybe the best way to do, uh, go about it right now is to do a proper load test uh, of this rifle. And uh, I am thinking maybe I will throat it, uh, uh, this rifle, with the uh, EC tuner a little bit longer to accommodate for the uh, 200 hybrids. And today I did do, do a test on uh, the 200 hybrids as well. Uh, this and the results from today on the 200 hybrids were pretty um, phenomenal or, or shows great potential. Uh, seating depth of uh, uh, with N150 uh, shooting 44.4 grains of N150, uh, getting around uh, 26, sorry, to, uh, uh, 2660 to 2670 or, or 80, depending on, on, on the seating depth. Uh, between, I, I would call that an outlier. Um, for, for the most part, that's pretty much waterline. Uh, in terms of the uh, the next set, uh, seating depth at uh, six thou, again holding the uh, a pretty much the same water line there, uh, having showing very little vertical. Uh, seating depth for uh, nine, twelve thou, five thou, uh, fifteen thou, sorry, eighteen thou, and then. The results uh, at uh, 21 and 24. Uh, all are uh, uh, all said and done is about a th uh, anywhere between a third, uh, a third of a MOA uh, for most groups because these are two inch dots, uh, and most of these group sizes uh, in terms of vertical is about one inch. So. It, it is, uh, I mean, I'll have to do a little bit tighter calculation and put it to, to a plot. However, it shows great potential for the, uh, for the 200 hybrids, uh, Burger 200 hybrids. So most likely I'll be trying to, sh I'll be shooting it this year. I mean, with vertical, if I can get, <laughs> it, not counting the outlier, uh, uh, hoping that's an outlier, I have to check data on it, but the vertical it looks like you know seating it close to 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 the lands uh, at this point, uh, or even um, somewhere between uh, 
uh, nine and and twelve uh, show show good potential. Uh, I mean, this is uh, about oh, I would have to say probably about half an inch to to three quarters of an inch in terms of uh, group height. So I'm happy with that. So the results are promising for for the 200 hybrids with the uh, extended free bore on the Savage uh, action. And that is the um, bore rider profile on that throat that I'm shooting uh, the 200s on. Uh, the SM, the 195 TMKs uh, show good results as well. Uh, at 43 grains of N150, uh, I'm trying a different mandrel uh, and different neck tensions. So this is state your standard. Um, uh, standard uh, Lee Colette uh, die in terms of uh, uh, using the, the mandrel and then a tighter mandrel. I got a custom mandrel and I have two more mandrels to test after this. However, this mandrel showed a lot of vertical uh, between uh, the, the shots. So it uh, looks like if I were to just go with something right now, uh, somewhere somewhere between that looks like it's holding good vertical between the the uh, the two neck tensions that were used, but forty three point oh uh, forty three grains at uh, eighteen thou jump uh, for a two hundred eight free bore. Any anyway, rate, uh, so that's a quick summary. Uh, if you guys have any questions or or you have uh, any suggestions, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Once again, thank you for tuning in to F-Class Community Channel. It's Matthew. Remember to keep an eye on the flags and tight groups.